Hello World in Python. Previously, we've taken a look at creating a Hello World program in Bash script. Since we're just starting to look at Python, we'll do the same thing in Python. Here, I've started the Python interpreter for Python 3. At this point, we can accomplish hello world functionality with a simple print statement. And there you have it. One line outputs hello world. This is the interpreter, but what if we wanted to write a script in Python? I exited Python by hitting Control D. And now we'll open up a new Python script. I enter the insert mode in Vim by hitting I, and I'll type the same thing we typed in the interpreter. Save, escape, colon, W, and I'll exit too. Q. We'll run the we'll run the Python script by typing Python three again, but this time we'll also pass hello.py as an argument to the Python script, or rather, the script as an argument to the interpreter. You can see the functionality is the same as typing the print statement inside the Python interpreter. Now we've simply placed our commands inside of a script. What if we didn't want to have to type Python 3 every time we wanted to run a Python script? We can have the script automatically call Python by inserting an appropriate shebang. You recall that in hello.sh, we input a shebang that looks something like this. That is, the hashtag, the exclamation point, or bang, followed by the path to the location of the program to run this script, in this case, bash. So the question is, what location do we want to put in the shebang? Think about how you might find this out. I'll exit the interpreter and I'll use the command which which tells me the location of the executable Python 3 
This is the location of Python, which is slightly different from Python 3. We'll save the differences between Python, which is Python 2, and Python 3 for another video. But in this case, we'll stick with Python 3. So this location, root, user, bin, Python 3, is the location we want to specify in the shebang of our script. This still doesn't work. Can you think of why it doesn't work? Like a bash script, I'm going to have to use chmod in order to make hello.py an executable. I'm choosing to use the octal notation here. Let's try running hello.py again. This time it worked. So in conclusion, there are two ways to run Python code. One is to open the interpreter by simply typing Python or Python 3 and to begin typing your code. The other is to open up a script like hello.py and to type your code inside of that script. And then to run that script using the appropriate version of Python, or by placing the path to the appropriate version of Python inside the shebang of your script. You may prefer to use the shebang if you know that the location of Python will be constant. But if you're unsure if your script will be used on machines where the location of Python is consistent, you may choose to leave out the shebang and to simply run the script this way by specifying Python 3 hello.py. That way it doesn't matter what the location of Python is.